front of your shoulder is hurting, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be coracoidopathy, right there. If it hurts somewhere else, then it's not it. But in my patients that I've had with it, it's seven out of seven bench presses are it. So I won't say it's 100%, but it's a, it's a high percent. If it's anterior shoulder pain, and it's, relation, it's related to bench press. Um, Batia did a paper in 2005 or something like that. He called it bench presser's shoulder. Um, but he thought it was a pec minor, but I think it's more coracobrachialis and short head of the biceps that is causing it. That's the coracoid process where the two ten, three tendons attach. Pec minor, short head of the biceps coming down to here, and coracobrachialis, which just comes right down to here. I think pec minor is my, it doesn't really matter, but the other two muscles are the main driver of the pain and you strengthen them up, or I strengthen them up, by doing the supinated front raise. So if you're doing your bench press and you're having pain right there, um, I was talking to this, I was, had a patient, I was treating for his knee and I was talking about coracoidopathy to someone else, and he said the front of his shoulder hurts when he bench presses. And I was mentioning that if I have to do the exercises, usually I do three, three sets of an exercise for tendonitis or tendinopathy for all my different tendonitis types of things. And I'll do you know one set with an easy weight, usually 15 reps. Then I'll have them rest for 30 seconds to a minute. Then I'll have them go to a medium weight for 15 reps. This is the exercise I do, a supinated front raise to really hit that coracobrachialis and short head of the biceps. And then I'll go to a heavier weight, which at 20 pounds, I'm maybe starting to lose form a little bit. I probably will by the time I get up near 15 reps. I know because I'll maybe bend my elbow more or I'll start to lean a little bit. I always do one arm at a time or else I'm really gonna lean back. And I'll usually switch good arm and bad arm back and forth, trying to find out what normal strength is with my good arm and my bad arm. But I was saying that generally, you start off with an easy weight and it hurts a little bit. But if I move up to a heavier weight, what people find is it doesn't hurt any worse. And then by the time I go to the third weight, which is heavier still, hurts, bad, hurts less than it did with the first. So we're talking about that. You say, well, what if I do it right before I bench press? Uh, and I thought, huh, I wonder. Let's find out. So I had to do the three sets of that. He did bench press immediately afterwards. And he said normal is five or six out of 10 pain you would have when he started bench press was a zero. So I thought, huh, that's on to something. So I've tested that on several patients with, with, cor with that coracoidopathy when they're bench pressing, and it's worked on almost all of them, all but one. The one that seemed pretty sensitive, and he was a pretty good bench presser, he was lifting uh, a couple hundred pounds. I had him, what I did then to change it, his workout was I did more of a total body strengthening program, and then I went to these and then I did the bench press further, further towards the end of his workout. And by then, he was a little more fatigued, but it was also a couple days later. So, so maybe it's because I brought the bench press later into the workout, and maybe it was just he was just a little better. So, um, if it works, I would do this for a warm up for bench press. If you have it, if you didn't have it, then I wouldn't worry about it. But if you had anterior shoulder pain with bench press, I would do this every time you bench press before to kind of warm you up. You could still do your bench press earlier in your workout like everybody likes to do. Or if it's pretty sensitive, make it further, further back in your workout. Maybe train your back first, bench press last, and that'll better warm up the shoulder. You should be able to tolerate it with less pain. But in the guy that I had that problem with, I was able to bring bench press right to the front. He was fine within, I think he was cured in 11 visits. Um, I think the supinate front raise warms it up so it feels pretty good while you're bench pressing, you can get away with it. However, if you want to cure the problem, then I think doing these exercises, three sets of 15 once a day, is like the ideal frequency. I think three sets of 15, easy, medium, hard, once a day is ideal to strengthen the tendons and heal the tendons. And then after the one arm is as strong as your good arm and normal strength and your pain's starting to dissipate, then you probably bring it down to two, three times a week just to be strong. Maybe just before you bench press is fine. And then if you're 100% and you don't have any pain, then you don't have to do it anymore. That's my general recommendation.